time for our co-main event, Roberto Jimenez versus Keenan Cornelius. Expect fireworks in this match as Roberto pulls guard right away and looking to sweep Keenan now. Looking to Barambolo potentially, Keenan Cornelius. Well, how ironic would that be, Ricardo? <laughs> because, you know, as we, uh, as he's made no secret, Keenan, not the biggest fan of the Barambolo, but does respect its ability. Just thinks that it's increasingly difficult. Roberto getting two points right away. And there is experience coming into play as Cornelius, he rides the position through, one hook in, very dangerous now, looking for the back. Keenan using that lapel wrestling, getting to the back of Jimenez here. And there's Roberto Beautiful. with a good takedown, double leg. Well, we're in a match here, this is, this is something else. If Jimenez can break that grip, and he does, Pulling close guard, such a smart strategy. 40 seconds left in this match, but they're going to give Keenan a two. No, they don't. Only the one corner referee calls it for two. That is still 6-4 to Jimenez. Now, close guard. He's only got 20 seconds. If Jimenez can hold on, if he can maintain this two-point lead, the match is his. Here at who's number one, the unranked, the underdog, the newcomer black belt, Roberto Jimenez. He is seconds away from taking out the number two heavyweight in the world. King and Keenan, and the back take. Time oh. runs out. That's it. Advantage for Keenan, but the two point lead stands. Roberto Jimenez is your winner. I, I feel happy that I won but not happy that I won by two points. I always like to finish. I had the opportunity to take it back but uh, I didn't capitalize on it so next time. I'm very happy that I was able to put on a good show. Hopefully everybody enjoyed and I'm happy to be here at Black Belt. All right Ricardo, we are here now for the main event of the evening, this is it. And Victor Hugo finally scores that sweep. Two points to Victor Hugo. Luke Choke, oh, Luke at the This is one of his most favored attacks, and that was close. There it is. Gets Johnny that backs. sweep that he's looking for. Now that's smart because not only did he get those two points, but he's an advantage up, that puts him in the lead. And now, on the attack is Nicholas Marigali, looking for the back, can he secure? He's got the seatbelt. I don't think he got the two yet. Oh, and Victor Hugo back on top. Advantage for Marigali. Marigali, you can see there's a certain element of frustration on his face. He knows that the clock is running down. He knows that time is against him. He knows that he's got to score back. Victor Ugo controlling the legs. Marikali with the Omoplata attempt. Victor Ugo defending. 15 seconds left. Ugo settling Ten back into the close guard. seconds left on this clock. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. One. It is the night of the underdog. Victor Hugo does the unthinkable. And Victor Ugo made a statement. He got up and said, I am the bleeping number one. Here in Costa Mesa, what a match!